Well, China's foreign ministry stressed the situation on the Korean Peninsula is very sensitive and called for all concerned parties to avoid triggering further tensions in the region. The announcement comes as Beijing conducted its own set of aerial drills in the West Sea and East China Sea to correspond to Seoul and Washington's latest joint military exercise. According to China's Air Force spokesperson Shen Jingke, his country recently held far sea training with recon aircraft to improve combat readiness and protect national strategic interests. Shen added Beijing's Air Force simultaneously arranged joint training between fighter jets, early warning aircraft and surface-to-air missile forces. A fleet of propeller engine medium-sized planes flew thousands of kilometers from southwestern Sichuan province. The aircraft had proven their readiness for combat after the first long-distance sea drill. The planes performed the drill without artificial marks, weather data, or guidance from a command center. They circled around the island and returned on the same day. Among the tasks uh, that are successfully done are air-to-ground joint exercises and heavy equipment airdrops. Our nation's first atomic bomb is a success. It is 53 years since China joined the nuclear club. Long live the Chinese Communist Party. Long live Chairman Mao. When it detonated its first atomic bomb, China was poor and recovering from civil war and Japan's military occupation. Chairman Mao said that to prevent that happening again, he needed the ultimate deterrent. It was now the Cold War, and China's then ideological ally, the Soviet Union, was happy to help. As recently as May this year, Chinese leaders pledged they would only use nuclear weapons if China was attacked first. What's less clear, say experts, is how China would respond to a conventional weapon strike. China will only use nuclear weapons to retaliate against a nuclear strike. But we have to admit there are internal debates. Some people want to see China to change its nuclear policy and treat a conventional strike on its nuclear weapons as uh, a nuclear strike on China. Four of China's neighbors are nuclear armed. Russia, Pakistan, India, and North Korea. Recent evidence suggests that China may have unintentionally aided the North's nuclear missile program when it sold these trucks, supposedly destined for the timber industry. Analysts say those same trucks, seen here, were later modified to carry and possibly launch the long-range missiles North Korea's been testing. China in recent years also sold uh, some uh, heavy truck ch chassis to North Korea and uh, in those cases North Korea provided end use certificate to China pledging that these heavy trucks would only be used for logging. Unlike North Korea, China doesn't boast about being a nuclear power. But a recent military parade in Beijing was a potent reminder of its growing military strength, a strength underpinned by a nuclear arsenal that experts say is now the world's fourth largest.